hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make indian style super creamy super delicious malai paneer with real cow milk cream from home we don't need to buy any fresh cream heavy cream or cooking cream from market it's a very easy recipe that i am going to show you so let's see the recipe i have taken a mixer jar to make a tomato puree i have taken two medium sized tomatoes and two green chilies I'm adding them into the jar and I'm taking 5 to 6 cashews. I've cut them into small pieces. I've taken the cashews for a nice binding in the gravy. And at the same time, I'm taking 4 paprikas for a bright color. We call it uh, Kashmiri Lal Mirchi. So I'm adding them. If you don't have them, you may skip. There is no problem. And here I'm taking 1 inch ginger and now we have to make a smooth puree at first i'll run the mixer without water and now here's the texture and now i'll add water gradually we'll add a small quantity of water at a time so let's make a smooth puree and here my puree is ready as you can see and you can see the bright color it has been possible just because of the paprikas. You may add paprika powder also instead of the paprikas. So now keep it aside and let's go for the paneer. Paneer means uh, cottage cheese, Indian cottage cheese. So here I have got 200 grams of paneer and uh, let's cut them into pieces. I am cutting them into small pieces. You may change the shape of them. So they are ready and I am taking them into a plate and now we have to fry them. But some people usually use raw paneer for curries but uh, I don't like them raw. I like to fry them very nicely. So I have taken a pan, I am adding some oil and I have turned on the heat of course. Now let the oil heat well and after that we will uh, make the heat low and add the paneer into the pan. I am adding the paneer instantly we should not stir them because they can break uh, so we have to wait for some time until the lower side of the paneer is nice red color I am just spreading them not stirring them I am actually trying to fry them evenly so I am spreading the oil because it is a pan not a frying pan so I am doing this and now they are fried uh, from the lower side and now I am flipping them and we have to fry them into nice red color evenly from all the sides and here they are ready as you can see so now we have to take them out into a plate I am taking them out here they are and now let's keep them aside and go for the gravy in the same pan I am adding oil for gravy I am adding 1 tablespoon of oil refined oil and 1 tablespoon of ghee ghee means fried and melted butter let the oil heat well and after that we will add cumin seeds here. So now I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Let them crackle very well and now I will add 2 to 3 red chilies, dry red chilies. And now I will add some powder spices. I am taking them in a bowl. I am taking half teaspoon of red chilli powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder and one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. At this high time the heat should be on the lowest and we will add the spices, stir the spices very quickly and add the spices puree, I mean tomato puree. 
the process should be very quick so that the powder spices cannot be burnt and now we will add some water washing the mixer jar because we actually do not want to waste the spices. And actually we need some water to cook the spices so we will add the water washing the mixer jar. I have added some water as you can see and now I am adding some more powder spices. I will add 1 teaspoon of paneer masala but uh, here paneer masala is not essential not very necessary you may skip it there is no problem and if you are skipping the paneer masala you have to add 1 teaspoon of garam masala but uh, I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala because I added paneer masala too. I have mixed it properly and now we will cover the pan and cook uh, until the oil is released from the spices. You can see friends that oil is released from the spices. I am giving it a nice stir and uh, now I will add the malai. Malai means the cream of cow milk. Here uh, I have taken half cup of cow milk cream. It is not frozen, it is in normal temperature. If yours is frozen then bring it to normal temperature before using. Now I am adding the malai into the spices. I will mix them properly very nicely and uh, again we have to cover the pan and cook the spices until oil is released again. The heat should be on medium to low. So here you can see friends that oil is released again but the mixture is not very dry still. So now we have to add the paneer cubes here, the fried paneer cubes. Now I am adding the paneer cubes into the spices and I will give them a nice mix. I did not add salt yet so I am adding salt here. I am not telling the quantity of salt actually, add salt according to your taste. I am also adding salt according to my taste and at the same time I will add 1 teaspoon of fried kasuri methi, I mean roasted kasuri methi. Kasuri methi means sun dried fenugreek leaves. So let us mix them properly and now I will cover the pan again and cook for 2 to 3 minutes on low heat. And within this time the paneer cubes are very soft now and the mixture is dry enough as you can see. And now we will add some water for gravy. I am adding water washing the bowl of the milk cream. Add water according to how much thick you want your gravy to be and add hot water if possible but uh, I actually forgot to heat the water previously so I am adding normal water here. Do not add actually so much water here because uh, our cooking process is almost done. So I have added water according to my choice and now again I will cover and cook the curry. Before covering the pan I am adding half teaspoon of sugar. You may skip the sugar but if there is no diabetes patient in your house then add this quantity of sugar. You will notice the change in the taste and now you can see that the curry is ready almost ready and uh, at the end of the process we will add some fresh coriander leaves. I am adding some fresh chopped coriander leaves. I will mix it properly and our malai paneer is ready. Now I will turn the heat off and cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes and after that I will serve it. Within this time period the texture of the curry will be so tempting and after 10 minutes here is the texture. You can notice the change. So now let us serve the curry. As you have seen friends that the recipe is very simple to try and it is very delicious to eat with any kind of Indian staple dish such as boiled rice, roti chapati, paratha, naan, jeera rice, fried rice 
anything it's really so very delicious you may notice the texture of the curry it's very tempting to look at and of course very delicious to eat so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button if you really like the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye